The murder occurred this morning as 30-year-old Jeffrey Ely headed to his home on Marina Drive in San Pedro. Ely was shot to both hands and bled to death. According to his mother, Susanna Ely, she heard the shots and shortly after was told that her son was murdered. He was shot right close to the house, coming home. I was sleeping about, I think maybe about 2 to 30 or 2.15, I really don't know. I heard a lot of gunshots. Well, I didn't even know if it's gunshot. I don't even know how a gun sounds, right? And I get up and I tell my husband, you think those are gunshots? He says, yes. So both of us get up and came out in the veranda and peep. And he went back in, but I stay outside and continue peeping and see if I see anybody passing. And I heard somebody says, prima, prima, Miss Susanna. It was my neighbors, my childhood neighbors, and one of my cousins came and said, then my son is shot. So I run there, run, because it's not far. And when I reached there, my son hadn't died yet, but he was bleeding too much. And nobody to help us to back my son. There was no doctor, there was nothing. So I put um, my husband, between me and my husband, back our son. We put him in a golf cart. So the doctors, the, the, guy, the, police say, the police arrived and they said, no, put him in the golf cart, put him on the van. So we put him behind the van on my husband's lap. And I let the came and I came to lock my house and I run. But when I reached there, it was too late. they have already died on my husband's hands. It's prior to the shooting, Ely was involved in an altercation with another resident at the Central Park on Barrow Reef Drive. Police intervened. Ely was around the corner from his house when he came under fire. Evidence shows that the tour guide ran for his life, but his killer caught up with him near an alley in front of Tropic Air. Initial investigation revealed that Jeffrey Ely and Rafael Juarez were involved in an altercation on, bar on beachfront, that is by the Central Park on Barrier Reef Drive, where they were dispersed by the police. Thereafter, Jeffrey Ely left the area and upon reaching the corner of Angel Coral Street and Tarpon Street, San Pedro Tong, he was met by an unknown male person or persons who fired the shots at him, causing him his injuries. 11 9 mm expended shells that were retrieved from the scene and the blood trail went to, it was believed that yes, indeed, the victim was running for his life. Right in front of school, where, well, the alley here at the school where he went, where the, all the blood is where he was running, and he dropped right in front of Ruby's. So he was chased. He was chased, he was chased. And when he dropped there, all what he was asking for, for his tia Yoli to give him water, because he was asking for water, because he was thirsty. They didn't have to shoot my son. They didn't have to do that. So he ran from his attack, from he his shooter. from his attacker. Now they're hiding, don't hide, come out. You did it, come out. When you do something, don't run and hide. Come out and face it. The entire town is shocked by the murder of Jeffrey, who, according to Susanna, was a happy, go lucky person. Jeffrey was one of my best son. I got two of them. I have four kids. Jeffrey was a good son. He was the oldest? No, he was the, the, uh, he was the third. I got that son, daughter, and that son and him. He had a child, three years, and last night he came and played with his little girl. And that little girl hugged him and kissed him like, I think it was, maybe she had the feeling that he was the last. And when he took the little girl home, the little girl screamed. Didn't want to let go daddy. He was a good son. He and his father was the best, best friends. It's sad what is happening to my island. I don't know where these people come from, and they just think they're in the wild, wild west, shooting up people. Police are currently looking for Juarez for questioning. Dwayne Moody for News 5.